All right, we are looking at a Gen 2 base distribution, and this is called Sabion. We are going to open your mind today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. All right, now, Sabion Linux is a Gentoo-based distribution, and it's much like the uh, Arch distribution, where you're pretty much uh, going to build a system uh, to your liking, but not as detailed with editing your configuration files and that sort of thing. It is well-documented, and there's a lot you can do with this. This distribution is not recommended for beginners. I recommend that you have at least a year of experience with the Ubuntu flavors before diving into, before diving into Gen 2. However, if you want to have a Gen 2 based distribution, there are a few different flavors to try out. In this case, I downloaded the Savion, and I'm looking at the XFCE flavor that they just recently released. Now what we're looking at here is a pretty standard XFCE user interface. Uh, I was surprised with uh, how much they loaded on this, uh, considering the small file size for this. Let's have a quick look and see what you get. All right, first you have a wastebasket down the lower right hand side of your screen, and then on the lower left, you can minimize all of your windows and just show your desktop. On the upper right is a notification area for your internet connection, battery power, and other assorted things. You get a clock and you also have four desktops along with the uh, Clipman Clipboard Manager. Uh, also you get the uh, logout dialog here. You can search for files and you have access to the lightweight Dunar file manager which will uh, pretty much allow you to navigate your system. Okay and then much like any other XFCE user interface you have your default terminal emulator file manager mail reader and web browser quick launches and as I go through the items that are installed on here you will see what those are okay here we have our standard settings where you can uh, change your accessibility options or any any personal options that you want to change you can tweak your system to your liking everything is all included here then in accessories you get an application finder probably they're using catfish uh, bulk rename clipman disk utility I highly recommend disk utility if you are doing anything with flash drives for instance if you're if you're a distro hopper like me and you like to load uh, many different uh, operating systems on a flash drive I highly recommend you get that program disk utility is a program you just can't live without okay and then G note you get LeafPad Screenshot, Task Manager, Terminal, and the Thunar File Manager. And what Linux distribution wouldn't be complete without the GNU Image Manipulation Program? That's right, you get the GIMP! You also get Ristretto Image Viewer and Shotwell in Internet. You get GNOME PPP, the lightweight Midori web browser, along with private browsing for all of you people doing questionable activity on the Internet, I think. <laughs> you get Pigeon Internet Messaging, Transmission, and XChat IRC. For all you IRC fans out there, not really my thing, but if you enjoy it, have at it, Captain. All right, you also get Cheese, Exhale, Mixer, and Movie Player in the multimedia section. In Office, you get the Libra Office Suite with ePDF Viewer. And then there are a lot of links in the Sabion section you'll definitely want to check out. Uh, you, there are download locations, Gen 2 documentation, getting live help, reporting bugs, the Git repos, the uh, help form, the home page, and you can even browse through all the packages that they have. And then, of course, in the system, you get Bulk Rename, Decomp Editor, Entropy Store, Firewall Manager, Keyboard, Magento Update Notifier, Manage Printing, Task Manager, Terminal, Thunar, UX Term, and X Term. So all in all, it looks complete. It comes preloaded with most of the things that you will need. Of course, you'll definitely want to hit the repositories and download any, any other additional packages that you may require. Would I recommend this to beginners? No way. 
definitely for the intermediate to, ad to advanced users. Uh, but all in all, the XFCE edition of this looks really nice. They also have it available in other flavors. If you like GNOME or KDE, they have that as well. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time!